we are also a uh, by nature careful people mm. so they want to test the waters mm. and see if where somebody else is experimenting and mm. if that becomes successful okay then it doesn't matter mm. so i guess they're in that trying and testing phase right now So 2019, as per Karan Johar, has been a film for uh, has been a year for um, content and uh, especially unexpected content, which has gone out and done uh, really well. So, which film, according to you, not only in 2019 but in the last couple of years, has been one of those unexpected hits for you? I would say Badhaiyo for sure okay. because that was uh, I think that was a film that I had gone on the sets of hmm. and I had I was there at the shooting a couple of times, huh. but uh, I didn't expect that kind of a film to hmm. do the kind of business that it did. Hmm. So for me, it, that would be one of those films which were really unexpected. That's true. What about you, Randi? I think same. I like that movie a lot, and I like Three a lot. Um, I think today what people are looking at is not uh, what Karan Johar felt yeah. at that time, getting out of Ferraris in flashy clothes <laughs> and having slow-mo shots mm. of uh, Manhattan and all that. Yeah. People are not interested in that anymore. Mm. People are more interested in seeing their own selves represented on screen, mm. which we have got the biggest middle class in the in the world, mm. and I think that's where it's all coming from. The the unexpected ca content is actually just us as Indians taking pride and recognizing our ourselves mm. as um, not just want to be somebody else but we are the people mm. well that's a really uh, right way to put it because content right now is not just films it's everywhere right and that kind of leads me into my next question as well is that uh, well, this is specifically for you. I've seen a lot of, uh, I would say, commercial mainstream actors still uh, find it a little difficult to actually break that barrier and go completely into digital. I mean, there is Saif Ali Khan, you know, he tried Secret Games or there is Imran Hashmi with Bard of Blood. But there is, I feel, and correct me if I'm wrong, I still feel there is a stigma that, you know, jitna bada star hai, the minute he crosses over to digital, it's going to be this big deal. Um, do you think that makes any difference or in the process of making or just your thoughts on going digital completely or even experimenting with that? I don't think, uh, see, all of us when we want to when we started or wanted to become actors, digital wasn't there. Mm. So there was this thing of being on a big screen, being watched by a collective audience mm. and people kind of looking up at you. Right. So that is always going to be the draw uh, uh, for, for, for actors. But I don't think, I don't know, I've never thought of it like that. Mm -hmm. I did a movie recently with Chris Hemsworth, who's mm -hmm. probably the first top three stars mm -hmm. in the world. And um, never did once it did come up in a conversation that he's crossing over or anything. He's mm -hmm. just doing a film. Mm -hmm. And I feel the same, that your film is a film. Mm -hmm. uh, well, with a digital platform, there's an advantage. Mm -hmm. You don't have to face the Friday brick bracks, you know. But isn't that more fun to face the Friday and the weekends of it all? Um, I don't know. It's a personal choice, I mm. guess. Uh, I mean, what really makes you tick? Mm. Because like he said, I mean, most actors, uh, when they started their careers, because there, was, uh, there were no choices, mm. the big screen was the only option mm. to be popular, to be mm. wanted, to mm. be loved. Um, now these options have come in and of course the reason why I feel also there is a hesitancy from most or most of them is that I think we are also uh, by nature careful people. Mm. So they want to test the waters mm. and see if where somebody else is experimenting and mm. if that becomes successful okay then it doesn't matter. Mm. So I guess they are in that trying and testing phase right now mm. but even now I think if someone goes to a, even a mainstream actor with a great script mm. which is like for a series. Mm. I, I mean, I interact with a lot of them and all of them are open to doing they're it. To Most do certainly it. they're open to doing it. Well, last question. So 2019 is almost coming to an end and then 2020 is coming to a beginning. So any plans that you're looking forward to in 2020 and what are you looking forward to till the end of this year? Whether it's in a personal life or in films. Well. <laughs> Life's mostly about work, has always been, and I did not work for the longest time. So I am just, I've collected a lot of real life experiences, mm -hmm. which I would like to, uh, you know, regurgitate mm -hmm. on the screen or, mm -hmm. or for a script. So I'm just looking forward to working more and more and churning out more work for, you know, all the time that it has built up inside me.
Amazing. What about you, Nirantan? In my case, it's exactly the opposite. Oh. Because I've been working. <laughs> I, I just feel that uh, for a writer specifically, uh, yeah. you need to nurture yourself for any story or anything to come out. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, um, I haven't been able to do that much of nurturing as mm. I think I should. So mm. I'm planning to take 2020 as the year of nurturing myself. That's good. And figure out what I want to do. Ponds? Is it ponds? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Thank you so much. Thank